Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple set of coasters with some scrap wood. Whenever I make a table for a client, I like to make a quick set of these for them just to help protect their new investment. As well, it seems like a small free gift always goes a long way. Here I have some cutoffs from the legs of the table I made. They're already pretty close to a quarter inch, but I'm just going to run them through the planer to bring them down to a true quarter inch. That's about how thick I like my coasters to be. As for dimensions, I like a 3 inch by 3 inch coaster, but you can feel free to go a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, depending on what you think is comfortable. Rip all the pieces down to 3 inches, and then hit them with some sanding. I finally jumped on the 3M sandpaper bandwagon, and I gotta say, it is life changing. I'll toss a link in the description. Now it's way easier to sand these blanks before you cut them into individual squares, so I actually took them all the way through the grits, 80, 120, and 150, finish them right off because once they're cut into 3x3 three three squares, sanding is way harder. With that done, it's time to cut these down into their final size. I'm going to use my fence as a stop lock along with my miter gauge and in order to do that safely, we need a bit of a spacer. So I'm not going to measure anything, I'm just going to toss our 3 inch blank against the saw blade, put the spacer beside it and bring the fence up to that. Now we just square up one edge, bring the piece up to our stop lock, and cut. You're going to want to make one more piece than the amount of coasters you want. So for example, if you want a six coaster set, cut seven squares. Line up all the edges, clamp them together, and grab some painter's tape. I've made jigs and fixtures in the past to hold these together, and honestly, keep it simple, stupid. Tape's the way to go. Wrap the tape around them, and then grab a combination square or tape measure, and I like to mark in half an inch from each side on one of the corners. That's where we're going to drill the hole for our dowel. With that set up, let's figure out what dowels you have in stock. If you have a quarter inch dowel, chalk up a quarter inch bit in your drill press. If you have a 5 16 inch dowel like me, put a 5 16 inch bit. The whole idea is to drill through all the pieces at the same time in the same spot so that they line up just like this when the set goes back together. With that hole drilled all the way through, we're going to undo our tape and remove just the bottom coaster from the set. This bottom coaster is what's actually going to become the coaster holder for the whole set. So remove that bottom one and then tape the rest of the coasters back together. With those back together, now we want to put a new drill bit into the drill press that's about a 32nd or a 16th larger than the original hole we drilled for the dowels. This is going to allow these coasters to slide over the dowel with just enough play that you can get them on and off easily, but not so much play if they're just sliding around all over the place. You can see here the dowel fits into the bottom square, which is going to be our coaster holder, nice and snugly. However, the actual coasters themselves have a little bit of play and they move freely on top of it. We can just dry assemble the whole system now and use that to mark the length of our dowel. I like to leave it about an eighth of an inch proud of the top coaster. I think it looks better. Feel free to cut it to whatever height you like. Now you have an idea of how the whole thing comes together and how it looks. It really is very straightforward and very simple. All you have left to do after this is to dry fit it, make sure everything moves together comfortably. If you're not happy with any of the fit, make adjustments accordingly, whether that means making the holes a little bit bigger or even sanding the dowel a little bit. From here, I like to put a 1 16th inch round over on all the coasters and the base. You'll get almost the exact same results by just using some sandpaper and easing over the edges of all the coasters. Really, either way works just as well as the other. Then once I have my round overs, I'll take a piece of sandpaper, clean up any edges, clean up any burn marks, just make everything nice and smooth and comfortable to the touch. And from there, we can move on to the real big glue up. To avoid messy squeeze out, I like to push the dowel down past the bottom of the base. Then I apply some mustard to the dowel and spread it around with my finger. Here I can push the dowel back up into the base and any glue squeeze out stays on the bottom of the coaster holder and doesn't end up on the top where you actually see it. Once I have that done, I grab a little piece of sandpaper, sand the bottom just to maybe fill in any gaps or smooth out the edges and essentially the base is done. Now all you have left to do Apply some mineral oil or whatever finish you like. Maybe you want to apply the finish to match the table you made and let it dry and put it back together. 
Here you can see all the coasters fit on top of the base. It's sleek, it's compact, it looks good. Go make one. Thank you.